Welcome to Wonderville. I'm Sabina. I'm Karen. And we're your Wonderville teachers. And here's the quick tips video for today. Phenomena-based learning in STEM. So what is phenomena-based learning? Uh, well, it's an approach or method to understanding an observable event. And so what it really does is it supports the process of discovering and understanding the why or how something is happening. And it's going to get your students to ask those things. Um, and you'll often have heard of phenomena being used as a hook at the beginning of a unit or a topic, which it most definitely can be, but we'll also discuss today of how you can use it throughout a unit. As the starting point of learning, they are events that can be easily observed by students through experimental activities, could be teacher demonstrations, or observations of an engaging and relevant a video or um, it could be an audio that they're listening to and it could be as simple as a picture. In general, hooks may come in the form of wanderings or puzzles such as why do the seasons change? Why are there different seasons? Or problems and issues such as the droughts in California are contributing to increased wildfires. Yeah, exactly. So it's taking something real that's happening, presenting it in front of your students so they have an opportunity to, to engage and ask those questions. So a good phenomena hook has your students, like I said, uh, observing or asking those questions, which then ultimately leads to more questioning. It leads to exploring, it leads to gathering data and interpreting that data. Um, so that's, uh, and then eventually they'll be supporting their reasoning as well. So this active engagement really ensures that your students are doing three different things. So one, they're making connections to what they already know, so their, uh, their prior knowledge or experiences. Mm -hmm. And two, they're developing their communication, collaboration, and creative thinking skills as they begin to ask questions and try to find the solution to, uh, to the problem or answers to those questions. And finally, they're just developing their skills and understanding for that specific topic that is being taught as well. Mm -hmm. So what can it look like? Um, here's an example. The start of a unit on light and optical systems. Bring the students in to a darkened classroom and have them sit there for a moment in complete darkness. And then slowly, slowly, at staged intervals, let more light into the classroom. And as they're sitting there and observing, have them think about how are they feeling? What are they noticing? What questions are coming to mind? Through that one experience, just at the beginning of the start of the unit, it can lead and hold discussions and inquiry throughout the whole unit. But what about when deciding which phenomena to use? What do we need to remember? Well, ensure that they can be experienced, observed, or documented. It's not the explanation of what is happening. I think that's the most important part to remember. Definitely. We want to get the kids doing. And we also want to see that it's culturally and personally relatable, that the students can, can see the relevance in it and they'll find it really interesting. And so just a few other things to remember that they can be presented in many different ways, which we already talked about. And you really want to remember that the purpose that they serve is to spark interest which then will lead to inquiry in your students on the topic that you're trying to teach. Um, they can also be used at various stages throughout your unit, like we mentioned. So you can, you can use this phenomena at the beginning as an overall focus point, uh, which can be really fun to do, uh, but you're not limited to that. You can also embed it within the unit to investigate different topics. Mm -hmm. And now it's your turn. How might you introduce a phenomena-based lesson into an upcoming science unit or activity. What is a real-world phenomena that you could introduce a key concept or skill with? Think about how would a scientist do it? How would they observe things? Um, how might they show something? And let your students be the scientists too, inquiring and questioning the whole way through. And most of all, have fun with it. The hooks really help to engage the students and bring them deeper into their work. And for more ideas 
and examples and resources that you can use on phenomena-based learning, check out our wonderful website, wonderville.org, where there are games and hands-on experiments, and there are videos that all can be used as a phenomena. Thank you so much for joining us today. I'm Karen. And I'm Sabina. And until next time, we're, we're your, your Wonderville, Wonderville teachers. teachers.